Up, Deidre. During a season, um, depending, you know, how we determine if horses need breaks or not, it's a, um, it, again, it's all in the individual horse, uh, how they're responding. I mean, some horses respond to more work is what's needed to kind of keep their interests and keep them occupied. Um, some get very bored. And, you know, what we try to do through during the season, you know, unfortunately in Florida, we don't have that much turnout. There's not that much time that they're able to stay out of the stalls. Um, we do have a few, you know, paddocks we obviously use, but then you're also the amount of energy and the fitness level they're they're having. You have a big risk of, you know, if they turn them out together, they're probably going to try to kill each other. I mean, they're it, it's amazing these horses the the injuries they can occur by themselves. So it's also a, a have to be careful when we we let them out. But when I can, you can. It, it's a mental thing. The horses, as long as physically there's nothing going on with them, it's mentally keeping them. Uh, occupied keeping the, their interests up and they can get into a kind of boredom and when boredom gets in that's when they'll start getting sour that's when they'll just you know maybe not be playing as well when you can then you know in, introduce you know, get them outside at night even if it's during the day for a few hours change their routines I'll even take some take them on trail rides maybe that day instead of schooling them I'll take them around the canals and go for a walk and let them see something different and it's just trying to bring a variety into their routines uh, it's very good that they're in a routine, but also mentally they need a little bit of change. Common mistakes that you might see with, with horses, is, you know, is either they brought them up too early at the beginning of the season and they didn't quite reach their, their fitness level before they got pushed. A horse, it's, it's a peak, you know, they're all gradually, their fitness level gets and they, they peak and then eventually they, they start to go down. Some horses, they could be up in three weeks, peak for two weeks and be down. Some might take two months to get up there, then they plateau and peak for a month and then they're down. The, you know, it all it all depends on how you start up. You can start them gradually. I mean, obviously what we all try to do is have our horses peaking March, April, which is, you know, the U.S. Open time. And that's when you want them, you know, and hope you, they can maintain it for that month and, or five weeks. And then they will start to gradually go down just from the basic wear and tear. Uh, mental stress, everything of playing the high goal. So it's all very important of how you start them, giving them time to, to prepare. Then while they're in that high stress time is the variety, like I said, of giving them something different to do once in a while and let their minds kind of, let them be horses, you know, at times. Um, if you can manage that, and it's, it's a personal thing. I mean, every day you come to the barn every morning and I look at each dog and you're just staring at them and you're just trying to get a feel of, are they eating well? Are they drinking well? Are they happy? Are they perky? Are they sleeping more than normal? And it's all watching them and start to figure it out. You know, is it a, if you're seeing someone kind of dull, is it a mental reason or are they physically feeling weak? You might have to get their blood checked. You might have to do things. Uh, or it might be that if it's mental, it's a you know, change of scenery for a few days. So every day is just constantly, you're looking at them, trying to get a feel to see where they are. For the you know, lower level amateur players, um, obviously, you know, they're not going to be having their horses most likely living inside uh, 22 hours a day. They're not, may not have the time to be staring at their horse every day. They're going to obviously have a much different fitness level because they're not playing the level that we're, we're at. Um, so for those, you know, it, it's, again, their most important thing though is to know their horse. Know when you can feel, you know, especially riding them, you can feel if they're feeling right, if they're sore, if they're unhappy, if they're fighting you in the bit, if they're you know, not responding, is to really get to know each individual horse. And then obviously, you know, the best is the beginning of the season. If they can, if you can really dedicate that first month to really maintaining them, getting them fit, to last physically and mentally throughout that season. When they're, when they're feeling good, they're going to play well. So if you can really concentrate on getting that first month of fitness put into them, the general playing and practicing throughout your season will keep maintain that level pretty good. But the most biggest mistake will be entering the season with your horses unfit and you're playing catch up all through the season. And that's when injuries can occur and that's
that's not fun. Nothing's fun playing an unfit horse, watching people run by you and your horse bucking or doing something because it just wasn't prepared. Mm -hmm. So preparation is key that before the season starts.